Hi, I'm Hank Green. If you watch someone do this illusion, it will seem a lot like magic, but the trick is just science that researchers use every day. It is fun to tell people a story while you do this illusion, though. We like to tell our friends that there's an invisible ghost living inside the bottle, and the only way to know it's there is to tickle it with a rope. If you do, the ghost holds on until you let go. But hey, if you've got a better story, go ahead and tell that one. For this trick, you'll need a small rubber ball, a plastic bottle, and a piece of cotton rope. Before you start, you're gonna have to learn something called palming. This is where you hide something in your hand so well that nobody realizes you're holding anything. In this case, you're gonna have to palm the rubber ball. Find a way to hold it so you can hold your hand naturally and nobody can tell that you're, you're holding something. So first, you need to palm the rubber ball, then hand the plastic bottle to a friend and ask them to inspect it. That way, they can know that there isn't anything inside. Then inspect the bottle for yourself. To really put on a show, you can even pretend that you are like looking for the ghost that might be inhabiting your genie bottle. At some point while you're inspecting the bottle, turn it upside down and sneakily place the ball into the bottle's opening. Then turn the bottle right side up so that the ball falls to the bottom. To hide what you're doing, you can wrap your hand around the bottom of the bottle to muffle the noise. Nobody should realize what's happening here. Once the ball is safely inside, insert your cotton rope about halfway into the bottle and pretend to tickle the ghost with the rope. While you do this, you can turn the bottle in every direction, but make sure you end with the bottle upside down. Then you can let go of the rope. The ghost is holding on to the rope. You can even ask your friend to try to pull the rope out, and the ghost is holding on really strong. Once everybody is well and impressed, you can ask the ghost nicely to please let go of the rope. As you do, push the rope a little farther into the bottle. That will release the ball. Finally, turn the bottle upside down, remove the rope, and do your best to palm the ball as it comes out so that nobody can see what you did. So that was quite the illusion. How do you think it worked? Pause this video and take a second to think about it. If you did this activity with a friend, you could even talk with them about your predictions. Then, when you're ready, come back here and I will explain the answer. See if we lined up. Got something? Okay. The illusion works because of friction. Friction is the resistance that happens when things rub together. In this trick, there's friction between three pairs of things. The ball and the rope, the ball and the bottle, and the bottle and the rope. They work together to keep the ball and the rope from coming out of the bottle even when you flip the bottle upside down. At the end of the trick, when you pushed the rope farther into the bottle, you pushed apart the ball, rope, and bottle and stopped them from rubbing against each other, you got rid of that friction, so the ball fell out. Once you've mastered this trick, you can even try it with different kinds of bottles or different balls like glass marbles. If you try that, let us know how the illusion changes by leaving us a comment underneath this video.